Hello everyone, King Solomon 121 here, and today I was playing around on my survival world, and uh, got my trusty stack of redstone as usual, and it's beginning to become night, so I was walking around and I found this little hut, so I figured I would check it out on camera with you guys. So let's go ahead and walk right in the front door, and oh my, what? Lava? No, my redstone! No. <laughs> so guys, that was actually a trap that I made, and it's a very cool trap, and it uses a little glitch in the game that you can use to create this trap, and it's very useful not only for traps, but also it's very cool aesthetically. So I'm going to head into my creative world, and I will show you guys how to build it. So I will be right back. Okay guys, we are back here on my creative testing world, and as you can see I've got this little walkway made of some blocks that use gravity, but if we come over here by the anvils, you can see that there's nothing underneath them. Now, this isn't some kind of trick using invisible blocks or anything like that, you can see I can walk right through them, and this is actually the trick I used to create the trap that I showed you guys earlier, so this can be used for something like that, where it's a nice little walkway, or you can make, for example, an all gravel pathway, where this pathway is completely made out of gravel, roof, walls, floor, and you can make something like that, whereas you couldn't if you didn't know this little trick. So this trick is actually very simple to do. If you want to just make something like this, all you're going to need are some two tall flowers and blocks of gravity. We're going to be talking about what you can use more specifically later on. If you want to make the trap, you're going to also need four buckets of lava and something to activate the trap with, which we will also talk about later on. So the trick itself, all you have to do is place down a two tall flower, put a gravity block on top of it, and break the two tall flower, and it'll float. It's that simple. So I'm going to be making a little two by two here. And we're just going to go slash time set day real quick and you can see that if I break these blocks this will stay floating until it is updated by let's say placing another block next to it that'll make it all come down so that's the basic principle of the trap so what you're gonna want to do is same thing make a little configuration this is infinitely expandable both the trap and the regular trick itself so you're gonna make your little uh, thing here and the only difference is you're going to place down your activation method before you break the flowers. If you place it after the flowers are going to, or the gravity blocks are going to fall down. So I'm going to place a pressure plate for this example. So I'm going to break these flowers and then the last thing is adding the lava. So you need to make sure that it's at least two blocks deep because if it's not, if it's only one block deep, what's going to happen is when the gravel falls down, it's going to cover up the source blocks if it's only one block deep and then there'll be no lava for you to burn in or for your person to burn in. So, let's test out our trap. I'm going to step on the pressure plate. You'll see it will fall down into the lava and you'll see the gravel will take up the bottom block here so I'm only in one deep lava here. So there we go. That's how you make the trap. So now we're going to go over some of the more specifics of it. So I'm just going to put this away. We won't need any of that. Okay, so the flowers that you can use for this are the peony, the peony, peony, I'm not exactly 100% sure how it's pronounced. Um, we'll just call it the peony, sounds cooler. The rosebush, the lilac, and the sunflower. Now you can't use the double tall grass or the large fern. You can't use either of these. Those won't work, the gravel will just destroy them. Now here are the blocks that work. Basically, it's any block that has gravity. And if you find more than uh, that, more blocks that have gravity, you can go ahead and comment below some blocks that I should add to this list. And you can use them in your own. But these are just the four that I found, which is red sand, gravel, anvils, and regular sand. And then finally, the activation methods for the activate activation methods for the trap. Jeez. So you can activate it by placing any block next to the gravity blocks, activating a dispenser that is touching the gravity blocks, 
powering a piston or extending a piston that is touching the gravity blocks, flipping a lever that is powering the gravity blocks, powering a pressure plate like I showed, has to be powering the pressure. Ha Remember, for all the rest of these, it has to be touching the gravity blocks in order for it to update them. So you can power redstone, you can power a rail, you can start cooking something in a furnace, and once that little fire animation appears, it'll uh, activate the trap. You can light TNT, you can hit a block of redstone ore, and, you know, make the redstone light up, that'll do it. Ice melting into water will do it. And finally, string, which string I really like personally using string because you know you can just put this out in the middle of nowhere like if you find a big nice plane of gravel somewhere like in an extreme hills biome you can just put this absolutely out in the middle of nowhere so i'm just going to real quick show you guys what it'll be like if i were to break the flowers and then try and place my string here you'll see that just placing it is going to update these blocks and it's going to fall down so the correct way to do it is you place this and then we're going to place our string here before breaking the flowers. And now that all the string is placed, we can break the flowers. And simply by walking on it, it's like an invisible pressure plate. Simply by walking on it, you will go ahead and break those blocks and you can fall down into lava. So overall, guys, it's a really cool trick. And uh, I'm interested to see what people do with this, both aesthetically and trap-wise. I'm sure there's some other interesting doors to get into your house and stuff like that that you could use this for so you guys you know just send me any videos of yourself you make coming up with some interesting uh, way to use this and with your permission I'll put that on my channel just to you know give my viewers a little taste of other things that you can do with this some other interesting stuff so guys that's gonna be all for today this has been King Tom 121 and I will see you next time Thank you.